Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm going to be planting some miscellaneous uh, bulbs that I have, uh, spring flowering bulbs uh, that I'm planting here in the uh, fall, uh, about the middle of November. It's almost Thanksgiving. I'm a little later than I normally put some of these things in the ground, but it doesn't really matter. They'll have plenty of time to get, in, get established and uh, um, uh, get enough cold treatment to come up in the spring. My tulips are in the refrigerator. I'm, I'm in zone 7B, so I have to uh, cold treat those some. Uh, to really get the best performance uh, out of them. Uh, just a little too, winters are a little too warm in my area to really cold treat them. Everything else I'm sticking in the ground. I've already put up a video on um, daffodils and alliums, and I planted a lot more than, than I showed in that video. And so uh, it'll be quite a big display out here. If you follow my channel, you'll get to see that in the spring. This video is gonna be some miscellaneous bulbs. I've got some galanthus or snowdrops. I've got some anemones. Um, I've got a, an amacrinium, which is a combo of uh, amaryllis and uh, crinum lilies. Uh, these are outstanding. Uh, and what else? I've got some scylla as well, two different varieties of scylla that are going in in this video. I'm just gonna use a shovel to plant these. Um, each of these videos, I'm showing a different technique. I use the uh, uh, this planting tool here, uh, the Pro Plugger, uh, in the uh, video with the uh, daffodils and the alliums. Uh, I'm going to have a video with hyacinths, and uh, uh, I don't remember. I got other. I got a lot of other stuff going in the ground, and I'm going to use the uh, drill for that. Just showing different techniques uh, in each of these videos. It's just it doesn't really matter how you get them in the ground as long as you get them to the right depth, and you're not putting them in areas that stay overly wet. It doesn't really matter. But uh, I've got a layer of mulch. Um, here that uh, across the yard that I do like to pull back. And uh, so I just use a garden rake for that. I'm gonna plant these uh, galanthus bulbs here and uh, they don't need to go very deep. They're generally speaking very small bulbs. I like to put snowdrops or galanthus in uh, in a pretty tight cluster. And so that, you know, so that they, they just naturalize an area like this. They're, you know, very hardy. They come back every year. But I kind of want a dense display of them. The, the, the flowers are kind of small, uh, not that showy, you know, if you just have one plant uh, uh, by itself. But if you put them in a pretty tight cluster. So I put them maybe, let's say 12 bulbs per square foot, something like that. But I'll show you how small these actually are. That's a snowdrop bulb right there so you know it's, it's a tiny little thing pointy end goes up in the hole right there you can see the roots on it right there this one's pretty obvious some bulbs are not obvious but these uh, mo but you know the ones with the pointy ends the pointy end goes up so there's like 15 in this little bag I'm gonna put those like I say roughly in about one square foot maybe a little more than that and when I'm using a shovel to do bulbs where I'm gonna put them uh, basically in the same hole, I'll just dig the hole. Uh, so I want about a three inch deep, four inch deep uh, little trench here to put them in. I want about two inches of soil on top of each of these bulbs and then I'll have a little bit of mulch above that. So I'm setting them in here with the pointy end up uh, roughly, you know, three or four inches. If you have any soft bulbs in the package, uh, go ahead and dispose of them. Now, I've got one right here that I don't think is coming back and just in case it's disease um, I don't want it uh, in here with the rest of them so that's it that's galanthus um, spaced out about three inches apart something like that 15 bulbs and maybe just over a square foot this is my drip irrigation line right here uh, and they're um, they're going in an area that's mostly sunny uh, especially at the time of year when they're coming up in the uh, spring and uh, although snowdrops will take a little more shade they're a little more shade tolerant than some others, but um, I think full sun at the time that they're emerging in the spring um, really keeps them full and compact and, and they put on their best show. But I'm just gonna pull this soil carefully back across the top of these without knocking these bulbs every which direction and then put that mulch back over the top. They'll emerge in the uh, early spring, bloom by mid spring, something like that. I'm gonna water them in once. I get pretty regular rainfall in the winter time. I don't think these are gonna need water again. They won't get fertilized until I fertilize all of my shrubs and trees in the yard at the same time uh, in the, uh, uh, let's say March 15th, something like that. I'm in zone 7B, maybe a little earlier if I was in a little further south, maybe a little later if I was a little further north. But 
they'll get fertilized at that time with just a general fertilizer. So next up is some Scylla or uh, Bluebells or uh, Squill. This will actually naturalize on a lawn as long as you're not doing chemical uh, lawn care. Uh, chemicals will, uh, some of the chemicals we use for lawn care will kill them, but frequently I see people using uh, Scylla uh, in, like I say, in their lawns. And it's quite beautiful when, they, when they're blooming in the uh, spring. Again, there's no difference here between the Scylla um, and the uh, snowdrops uh, right there. So pointy end goes up. These are small bulbs. They're going to get planted. Um, I want them just to naturalize a space here. I've got a fence that's going through here. They're just going to be right in front of this fence every spring when they come up. And so same, same, same operation. I'm just going to uh, pull the mulch back, dig a little trench, and throw them in there. Exactly the same. So I've got some additional planting going on out here uh, during the winter, so I am marking where I plant these bulbs so I don't dig them right back up because I will forget for sure. And I'm planting uh, lots of groupings of these all over the place. But again, these went in the ground exactly like the snowdrops. They're about three inches apart, uh, something like that. I had 15 bulbs and so um, they went into a space about a little over a square foot, something like that. There's about two inches of soil on top of them and then an inch of mulch, maybe something like that. Um, padded down, I'll water them once, fertilize them in the late spring. Moving on. So next up is an interesting one. Uh, these are anemones. These are spring flowering anemones. They're fall blooming anemones as well. Uh, and they're kind of super interesting. It's, it's kind of hard to tell what's the top and what's the bottom. It looks like, it, honestly, it looks like a stone. Uh, hopefully it focuses in on that. The way, um, the way I go about doing anemones, these were actually soaked in this bowl uh, overnight. And uh, there's, a, there's kind of a flat side they're definitely it's hard to tell which is up and which is down that's up or that's up um, and it's hard enough to tell that i just plant them on the side like that if you plant them with this you know thin thin side up just like that then uh you know whether it's this that's the top or this that's the top it'll work fine so exactly the same thing though i'm going to do i will space these maybe a little uh, just a tiny bit further apart but i have several groups of these spring flower and anemones going in same thing here, I'm going to rake back that mulch. I'm going to dig a little trench in there. I'm going to space these, like I say, maybe three inches apart. Put them in on that side angle like that and, uh, and cover them up. Same exact thing. So I put about half of them in the hole, uh, about three inches apart there. I'm going to cover that and then just transfer my soil over to the other side of the hole. I'm being careful. I did put them on their side, so I'm being careful not to knock them over. So that's my process for planting anemones. They were soaked overnight. They were put in a trench about two inches of soil over the top of them uh, up on their sides. Tamped in, one watering, fertilized them probably about time they finished blooming uh, in the spring. Moving on. So this one's pretty interesting. This is a, uh, a Portuguese squill or a Scylla um, Peruviana I think is the uh, Latin name for these. And you can see the other Scylla that I put in was about the size of the top of my pinky right there. And this one is pretty much giant compared to that. And these require a lot more space uh, and a little more depth. And they've already started putting on some growth here. So I need, definitely need to get these in the ground uh, quickly. Uh, I'm gonna put these, I'm still gonna use the shovel, but really the bulb planter or the um, pro plugger will be better for, for these. But I'm gonna show you, I can still do it with a the shovel. These need to be placed more like eight inches apart. These plants will get about 12 by 12. Uh, and uh, put on quite a bit, you know, quite a big show. But uh, again, uh, since I'm just doing individual holes, I'm just going to make a small spot here in the mulch. The mulch is pretty deep here, uh, and then I'm going to go straight, straight down. And so you can see from the depth of this shovel here. I'll, I'll pull this out. You can see the shovel is about. Oh, there's only about eight inches left of it, maybe something like that, uh, where I've worn it down so much. So I've got that, the bottom of that hole is about six inches. Uh, I'm going to stick that down in the ground, pointy end up, okay? You can see that. And then I'm going to put this soil in here where it's not, the bulb's still upright. I'm going to squeeze that in there. And then I've got so much mulch that it's going to end up buried several inches on top of it like that. I may have wanted to go a hair deeper than that, but it'll be fine. Pulling this mulch way back. I had a tree right here. I 
But again, I'm, I'm, just, I'm going here and I'm pulling the soil back this way. And if I trap it right there, that's perfect to hold the soil back for me to set that bulb in place. And then that soil can just fall back around it. And I'll tamp it, tamp it around it. Mulch over the top, just like that. And tamp it down. And I've got three more of these to put in uh, right here, but same, same technique uh, every time. So the last type of bulb I have uh, to show you in this video uh, is an uh, amacrinium. This is a, uh, a combo of amaryllis and uh, crinum lilies. It's gonna get gigantic. The bulb's already kind of, you know, quite large, um, amaryllis-like, um, really. And uh, it needs to go down a bit deeper. Uh, I'll probably put at least the height of this bulb in soil uh, on top of it. So I'm going to give this one plenty of space up here. I planted those uh, uh, Portuguese uh, uh, Portuguese Scylla right here behind me. But this crinum lily, uh, crinum lilies, if you're, there are giant crinum lilies that get super big. This one won't get quite that big, but it will put some size on. It'll probably be three feet in height, something like that. And again, I need to go down a little bit more than I have been on these other things for sure. There we go. I think that's deep enough. But again, I could do this with the drill, I could do this with the, uh, with the pro plugger. Um, I'm just choosing to do this video with a shovel just to show you, you don't need specialized tools. That bulb was in the ground, pointy end up. And I'm going to put the, carefully put the soil around it so I don't knock it, off, knock it off kilter. This is all pretty well drained soil up here. I got lots of mulch here to put back on top of it. So I'm planting lots of groups of the things that I'm showing you. Uh, in this video. So this is going to be quite a showy uh, space out here in this front yard in the spring. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can see that. Uh, there'll be an additional uh, couple more videos as I continue to put lots of varieties of bulbs uh, in this yard. This is a very small uh, urban lot and there's not a lot of space, but I wanted to go with lots of different varieties um, so I could show off lots of different uh, flowering uh, bulbs and get some early color uh, going in this front yard since this is the first year this is being landscaped and everything's a little on the small side. It's a little thin out here. Uh, there's lots of holes that still need to be planted. And so uh, these bulbs will come up in the spring here and put on a big show um, while I continue to fill out the rest of this landscape. Thanks for watching.